Ever wondered why your any 10 AI agent sometimes gives you brilliant results and other times, well, not so much? I'm going to show you the exact framework that transforms your any 10 AI agents from confused to brilliant. Whether you're building AI agents for customer support, content creation, or just data analysis, the simple technique will level up your results instantly. So stick around and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to write prompts that get perfect results every single time. Okay, so before we dive into the solution, let me show you what most people do wrong. And honestly, I used to do this too. We cheat AI prompts like we're talking to Google. Just type what we want and hope for the best, right? So we write things like analyze this data or write social media posts, and then we are surprised when the AI gives us something completely different than what we have imagined. Here's the thing. The AI isn't a mind reader. It's more like a really talented intern who needs clear instructions. Without context, format specifications or boundaries, it's just guessing what you want. And that's exactly what we're going to fix today. So let me introduce you to the clear framework. Think of it as a recipe for perfect AI prompts inside any 10 And the best part, once you learn this, you can use it for any AI agent in your workflows. CLEAR stands for context, limitations, examples, actions, and refinements. Let me show you exactly how this works by building a real automation together. We're going to create a social media content generator that takes one piece of news and creates perfectly formatted posts for LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. First, let me show you what happens with a bad prompt. Watch this. I'll type a simple prompt, create social media post from this news article. And I drop the article itself and let's execute this step. So yeah, as you can see, the content is inconsistent. We have different platforms in each of the uh, news article, right? And we cannot pass this data to the second node because, well, it's inconsistent. That's the main problem. Now let's rebuild this using clear and watch the magic happen. First up, context. This is where I tell my AI agent who exactly it needs to be. Instead of leaving it generic, I'm going to type, you're an expert social media strategist with 10 years of experience creating viral content for tech companies. I'm giving it a specific role and expertise. It's like the difference between asking a random person on the street versus asking a specialist for help. This one line completely changes how the AI approaches the task. Now for limitations. These are the rules and boundaries. Watch as I add specific constraints to my prompt. And in this case, you can see that LinkedIn must be under 200 characters. Twitter can use emojis. An Instagram caption must include five or seven relevant hashtags or emojis, right? These are the constraints of your prompt. But here's where it gets really cool with any 10. Watch me make these dynamic. Instead of hard coding the limits, I'll use any 10 variables. Now I can change these limits inside Google Sheets without ever touching the prompt again. And as you can see in this Google, Google sheet, we have prepared the LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram length that we want to input inside our prompt, right? So we can simply drag and drop those variables from Google Sheets inside the prompt itself. And it will never be hard coded, as you can see right here. And we never have to change them manually because they come from Google Sheet itself. And on the right side, you can see the preview, what comes from Google Sheets over here. That's the power of combining any 10 with smart prompting. Moving on to examples. This is actually where most people skip, but this is the secret sauce. I'm going to show my AI exactly what good output looks like. Watch this. See what I did here? I put examples. In the first line, I put that input example of how my article news should look like. And then for each of the platform, I put the output of how I want it to look like. And uh, for LinkedIn, for Twitter, for Instagram, for each of of the platform we have different tone different structure and in general just a different format okay so see examples are really important for any tend to understand the output you want to have in the later stages time for actions Let's get super specific about what we want back. And this is crucial for any 10 workflows. Instead of just asking for posts, I'm telling generate exactly three posts, one for LinkedIn, one for Twitter, one for Instagram. 
return as JSON in this exact format. Speaking of JSON, let me quickly explain why this matters so much in any 10. JSON is basically a structured way to organize data that computers love. Instead of getting a big block of text, we get organized data that any 10 can easily split and send to different nodes, like this. As you can see, we have specified LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram, and then we just say that in this place, the post itself will go. This way, each social media node in your workflow gets exactly what it needs. No parsing, no errors, just smooth automation. Finally, refinements. This is your safety net for edge cases. I'll add, if content could be controversial, maintain neutral tone. Always fact check numbers before including them. These refinements prevent those weird moments where your AI agent goes off the rails with something unexpected. All right. Let's run this workflow with our clear prompt and see what happens. And look at that. Perfect LinkedIn post with professional tone and exactly the right length. Twitter thread properly formatted with an engaging hook, Instagram with emojis and relevant hashtags, all from one well-structured prompt that tells the AI exactly what we need. The difference is night and day, right? And all it took was being clear about what we want. Now, let me share five quick tips that will save you hours of troubleshooting. First, always start with context. Tell your AI who it is before telling it what to do. This single change will improve your results dramatically. Second, use JSON outputs whenever possible. Your any 10 nodes will thank you when everything just connects seamlessly. Third, test with weird inputs. I once had an automation crash because someone included emojis in my input. Now I always test with edge cases. Fourth, keep prompts under 500 words. More isn't better, clarity is what counts. And fifth, the biggest mistake I see, no examples. And hey, if you're running these AI automations, you'll need reliable hosting. And I use Hostinger VPS for all of my N810 instances. It's got the power to handle AI workloads and the reliability to keep your automations running 24 seven. Head to the link in the description and use code N1010 for 10% off your VPS plan. So there you have it, the clear framework that completely transforms how your AI agents perform inside N810. What used to be hit or miss is now predictable and powerful. Here's what I want you to do right now. Grab one of your existing AI prompts and just add the context section. Just that one change. Then come back and tell me in the comments what happened. I read every single one and love seeing your wins. If this helped you level up your Any10 game, hit that like button. And if you're still curious about what Any10 can do, make sure to check out other videos here for more automation tutorials. Until next time, this is Miniu saying happy automating and remember, Better prompts, better results.